a player whose natural talent has been gracing this tournament for 20 years. Four times a winner at this title, the first of those in 1995 as a teenager. Five times he has conquered the Crucible. He's the reigning world champion. Blink and you'll miss him. The Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Please make sure your flashes are all turned off now. Well, I expect him to get it, Steve, and in all honesty, if he's going to have a... Re One. Yes, and if he gets a few more reds and blacks... Well, he's on one to the middle, but whether he can... the left middle... Yeah, and if you could say one thing about Ronnie, that's the only thing that... Mm. Well, it wasn't easy. Robert Milkins, 35. And played it nicely. Now, what sort of an angle is he going to have on the black? One. Bother concentrating for pink or black. Go up for the blue, the red's handy enough. But the pink... We'll put in 36 One. points in front. So in goes the black. Breaks of 48. He didn't get the correct split on the reds, so an opening for Ronnie O'Sullivan to counter-attack at some stage. York in the UK Championship. Ronnie then run out a very comfortable winner, six frames to nil. Well, miss, Ronnie but this could be a free ball. Free ball. He needs to be on the blue, but he needed a little bit more of a bounce than he got. They look easy, these, but they're always tricky. They only catch the near jaw. Well, he caught with it well. The left centre or right corner. It's all about cue ball control and nobody does it better. <laughs> superb. Absolutely superb. From the moment that Robert Milkins ended his 42, played a good safety, a better one from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Cannon he played. Could have worked out better. But he's not missing much now, is he? Well, unlucky. We didn't see the century, but we've seen a wonderful four frames. But look what he's been left with. That wasn't easy. One. Yeah, a bit of a misjudgment from Ronnie O'Sullivan there. Yes, but his long potting has certainly come on in the last few frames. to the right corner. Well, look at the average shot time. Robert Milkins was at 15. He slowed down a bit, but Ronnie keeping it up at 14. Hmm. Well, he will get another Ronnie chance. Sullivan, so Ronnie O'Sullivan is back to his seat, 42. Big shot for Robert Milkins. Oh, that was so close. I think that's the story of the evening so far, Stephen. It's so near. And, and that Seven. will just mean that Robert Milkins will not get back to the table. So in goes.
towards the black. It's 5-0. Robert Milkins had a couple of chances. Didn't make them. There's a little cannon that Ronnie was thinking of. Well, he didn't get it exactly One. as the line said, but... Well, as you say, Steve, a couple of shots later, you're thinking, what's all the fuss about? Ooh. Well, tried to pinch a bit to hold for the black, and it's cost him. Draw the cue ball. He's knocked it in. Okay. And it's not really a difficult ball. In it goes. He's got a fray on the board, and you can see the delight at the fist pump. Ronnie had his chances. It should have been over. Can't be pressure. He takes his eye off the ball. And he knocks his one in. Yeah. It's not an easy chance, this. Well, I think that was the old case of throwing your cue at it there. That was well played. Yeah, I think you picked up like I did, Steve. I just get One. the feeling that Robert Milkins has run his race here. Could have had easier draws in his debut here at the Masters. All or nothing. And Ronnie had just missed a few. Oh, he's missed there, but uh, it's enough. Robert Milkins' game just wasn't good enough. He knew he had to be his absolute best. Standing ovation from a rolling stone for Ronnie O'Sullivan, who goes through to the second round. Didn't have to hit them too hard. That's fi 50. Playing up for the ball color because we'd like to see a little bit more of this type of snooker. Both players doing well. Ricky Walden made a break of 38, ran slightly out of position, and then after that, he never got a shot. Plenty of people in the audience today fascinated by this. Jimmy White there. Might have never thought anybody would be better than the great Steve Davis, but uh, not only potted them, one right hand, one left hand, kept switching hands. 61. It didn't look on. But it was also interesting to see what Ronnie had start like. He's one or two games since the UK. So in the early rounds of that, he didn't start. Brilliant. No, he's caught the near jaw. I don't think it'll drop. It hasn't. But that is so impressive again. What? Very awkward, though. The pink tied up. So it's the yellow for the loose red by the black, but has he overscrewed that? Thirty-three. Well, no well, century break again, but it only needed one visit. Oh, I'm not having that one. <laughs> <laughs> say things happen for you when you're playing well and boy is he playing well and well, he did screw it this time I don't think he's on a red
about everything, only a century break. And that is Ronnie O'Sullivan's, believe it or not, 724. To finish it all off. And this looks perfect. 127. Absolutely perfect. Well, you have just witnessed an unbelievable session of snooker. Go on. Yeah. Well, that's just about perfect. Five. Forty-seven. Double. No double, but once again, on the Ronnie on the O'Sullivan, he's come out after the mid-session interval. One. Well, the fact that he's screwed back for the black 25. tells you something. Oh, he's gone 49. too far. He still might be able to clip it in and catch the head. Oh, how's he look? Can he get past that red to the green pocket? Oh. Oh. Sullivan, 56. Well, it was... Not a good one. That could be Ricky's last shot in this year's Masters. But he's the sort of character, Ronnie. He may not get too excited. Uh, but uh, it's been a virtuoso exhibition. That good. And Ricky Walden. Well, you can't. Well, well Ricky yeah, Walden comes forward and shakes the hand and says to Ronnie, <laughs> "Well played." Unbelievable from the rocket. He's had breaks of 79, 88, 72, 134, 77, 56, and 39. Not a bad start, Dennis. <laughs> well, what a beauty that for the first shot. Well, no Thank century you. break, but I'll tell you what, after that initial play. opening red, what a superb break that was. One. Surely you didn't see that stick. It looked as if he'd overcut that. Surely he hasn't covered the black with One. the green. He's got to negotiate the swerve first. Red seemed to jump a little bit. <laughs> had won the safety battle. Six in the frame. But in seven. the end, he had a half chance when Ronnie went in off. He may have had a little kick, but uh, Ronnie's done more than enough. Breaks to 39 and 36. Well, that's totally the wrong shot. But it was uh, definitely, definitely a shot. I think played out a bit of frustration. Twenty-five. 
It's amazing. The, we're in the third frame as previous. 73 in a frame. He's not even going to bother with the black. Stephen Maguire made the error on the positional side. Of Now it's coming back across. It's coming back Daniel across, Sullivan, but 40. not hard enough. And he's playing it with a little bit of stun. Same thing. Oh, he needs to slip past the red, and he has one. That's quite incredible. That one doesn't drop. For Neil Sullivan, 40. But and the frame. He's had enough. There's 84. There's no chance of getting the snookers from that position. Can you see the temper. Stephen Maguire, He's not seven. Happy with that shot at all. Is he just okay? Steve Maguire back at the table. 16. Oh, where's that cue ball? It's in. That's unlucky. Steve Maguire won. It's amazing, isn't it? Sometimes you can go in off. Steve Maguire, 28. Now that. Yeah, that's uh, one. It was a very poor shot. One of those sessions that was out of this world. Eleven. One. No, no, he just flicked it away from the cushion. Stephen McGuire, eight. Yeah, you've got to hit the cushion and the. Well, he needed three chances, Ronnie. He took the third one and he extends his lead. He now leads four frames to one. One. Just as you predicted, Stephen, and this will open the reds. But he hasn't got the white back. Five. He hasn't fluked it. Surely he hasn't fluked it. Would you believe it? Well, Stephen Maguire is sitting in his seat, smiling away. The semi-final win. 57. What is that? that is just 57. a lapse in concentration. This match should already be over. Okay. He's not finished yet. Ronnie O'Sullivan had a break of 57. But what an easy blow. I've never seen an easier shot missed that. Final in the Masters. He's won it on four occasions. 31. Just a couple more reds available to him. Stunned into them. 
plays that shot so well. In his career, he's getting ever closer. Very well played. 102. Stage, the match is over. Let them enjoy themselves. Stephen Maguire, after Stephen. the first frame, wasn't at the races. Ronnie didn't play his best snooker, but I'll tell you what, what a way to finish that 129. Thank you, Hazel, and good afternoon, everybody. And, well, you don't get an atmosphere like this very often. It is absolutely electric. At the moment, He's a long way off with the pots. That's three attempts he's had that you would have expected at least one of them to wobble in the jaws. One. 34. He could. And he brought another red into play. Pink. Oh, tremendous. Oh, unlucky. Just overcut it, but what a start. Mark and Selby had to go a couple of long pots. Oh. Well, they don't come much better than that. One. Nicely on the colour, and he's perfect on the blue. Well, he hit them really well. And only one red move, but there's enough reds in the open now. Oh, it's just tight, but no, it's okay. <laughs> and I think John three. And that is a fact. Well, he's missed the pink. Just. Trying yeah, to squeeze it in, 70. but 70 points in front. Mm. Missed the thin contact. One. I'm reading things in into the situation just because Ronnie's 42. winning and making the game look so easy, but he seems in it goes. Well, he deserves a century. He made a 97 in the first, he had a 70 in the, the last. Well, he's done everything bookmaker century, and you can hear the reaction. Mark Selby is not getting a sniff of a chance here. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads by three frames to nil. Oh, great shot. It's going to be difficult for Ronnie to win this frame in one visit, but what a pot that was, and look at the reaction on the cue ball. There's no guarantees anyway. 23. Three. We're on the pink. Yeah, it was Ronnie O'Sullivan on the ropes there, but he got out of it. And it goes, Seven. and now he's 18 points in front. And that's wow. a frame that Mark Selby should have won. But Ronnie O'Sullivan, you can give him an inch this afternoon. And he's got the perfect first four frames. Mark Selby with an awful lot to think about. Playing ball. <laughs> How did he find the gap there? <laughs> he was hoping for a kiss Five. and possibly finishing on the black. Yeah, that was up there with his greatest 29. ever sessions. I mean, he's played so many of them, but that was right up there. 
There's a surprise. Mr. Blue. Daniel Sullivan, 37. We've got to find a gap here with a cue ball. Oh, and he didn't find the gap. He didn't get the pot, but he might just Box have three. got away with it. Beautifully cued. Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't hit that any better. One. 18. But the, at the moment, this is all one-way traffic. 32. Forty-three. Oh, Forty-seven. Must. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Another great display O'Sullivan. from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He takes the frame. He now leads five 0 These are the things you have to think about. <coughs> Just can't get going. And once again, not only did he miss the red. One. I mean, that's beautifully played. He's missed that red, cannoned the pack, left that red. Unbelievable. Okay. Unbelievable at the moment. Yeah, but... yeah. yeah, a little bit unfortunate with that. Yeah, missed it. Sullivan, 53. Well, wow. that's what he's done, and he's made a pretty good job of it. <laughs> that was the problem. 36. That was his only problem there with moving that red from that position. That's a terrific shot. That's a superb Two. shot. Yes, under the circumstances. That... Yes, great character. 14. And I think there's... Ronnie O'Sullivan made a break at 53. But Mark Selby held himself together. Yeah, that red's safe now. It's in the pocket. That was a very good One. pot. Well, that's... Wow. Under the circumstances. Twenty-two. Hey. He's missed the red. Missed the red, but uh, at least... What a pop that is. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Right in the middle. Beautiful. Twenty-two. Daniel Sullivan, thirty-five. Six. Well, that's a terrific pop under seven the circumstances. The Mark Selby looked like he had the frame wrapped up. Ronnie O'Sullivan had other ideas. Hasn't been punished. <laughs> One. Yeah. He plays those so well. He really Eight. does. Wow, oh, he nearly, <laughs> nearly pushed the pocket with that one. Once again. Some of the balls he's potted here. He's not going away with him, Ronnie It's been vintage yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan one yeah. more time. Low ball colour. That cue ball needs to just slow up a little bit. It's got to stop short of the ball line, otherwise on nothing. One. Good. Oh, well, great escape, but he's left it pot on. One. A couple of 
couple of reds available. A couple just below the pink pot into the left hand corner pocket. But if you came up short. 29. Easy. 76. Be nice to see the sentry. Oh, yeah, well, what a pity yeah, once yeah. again just charmed that magic turn, but boy, that was impressive. One. There's a good pot here. And then trying to force it across. So. Mark Sullivan, Selby. 49. Good pot. Obviously. Oh, they're always tricky, particularly when you're playing it with a little bit right, of pace Selby, to run around the two cushions. One. Just 27 remaining. <gasps> wow, would you believe it? Sullivan, 20. Would you believe it? Don't want to catch the bump. Okay. 20. Play it well. Oh. Mm. Well, would you believe it? Mark Selby, 20. No. Oh. Well, would you believe it? And Mark Selby, the jester that he is. Another gift he's had in this frame. And the crowd enjoyed that one, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And he's right in the middle of the pocket. Great shot. Oh. No, it's, it was always going to be a, a difficult 26. table to make any sort of. Well, well played. Well played indeed, Mark Selby. He may try and play a double here. Didn't want the cue ball to go in off. Selby, no, it hasn't. And, the and Ronnie nods a concession, so he gifted Mark Selby. <laughs> off two cushions into the cluster. Good line. Terrific shot. Has he been unlucky? Well played. Excellent shot. And if he gets a nice kiss on this green. One. Well, he's missed the kiss on the green. Ace at the moment. Well, I say that, John, but again. No doubt. Where's the cue ball going? One. Now, 32 points. True. You always seem to get it when you don't need it. Well, the brown doesn't go in there, but that'll be enough for Mark and Selby. He concedes. Both players now go in the dressing room, but at least Mark Selby got us. You wouldn't think it, but he can. Well, he thought he could. Might have covered everything. Right. Nine. Perfect. Well, didn't matter as long as he got anywhere in between them. Yeah. Yeah. Seven frames he's lost this week. Five. It's pretty impressive. Just... Well, it's not quite over yet. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 72. Mark coming to the table, but he's got an awful lot of work to do. One. Well, their favourite son is about to lift his fifth title. 
Mark Ronnie Sullivan O'Sullivan comes forward and, and congratulates Ronnie O'Sullivan. He has been absolutely awesome all week. And he gets a standing ovation from this fantastic crowd at the Alley Palace. Receiving a cheque for £200,000, the trophy and the title, Daffabet Masters Champion 2014, The Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Your champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan.